Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the um, 4.2.1 update for the Galaxy S3. Um, so I'll fire it up. Here's the new lock screen. So you can see here the ripple effect is a little bit different now. Uh, and this this area here is, is where the ripple effect uh, works now. It doesn't work up here. Because as you slide in from the sides, you'll see the lock screen widgets. Uh, and your standard lock screen widgets show up here. Uh, this is Samsung's um, clock widget that they have by default on the front. You can see we can add Google now. The temperature comes up. There's their clock. And also you can swipe across to get to the camera. Normal camera items there. You'll see there's some writing down here about the voice commands. I'll go in and show you that shortly. Uh, here's the home screen. This is very much the same as what already exists in um, in Samsung's 4.1 or 4.0.4 TouchWiz. Uh, apps are very much the same. Widgets are very much the same, so there's not a lot of change there. You can see there's still a little bit of loading lag in TouchWiz. Still not as smooth as I'd like it, but uh, anyway, we 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 digress. Um, this is the uh, notification area. You see the um, brightness setting is different now. It now shows as a as a zero by default, or you can make it minus or plus, depending on what you want. And the auto option is still there, obviously. Um, but by default, it's set at zero. Notifications still look very similar. Um, and then up the top here, you see that doesn't swipe anymore um, because this option now shows all the toggles. And you can see there are all the different toggles that are now available. Wi-Fi hotspot is now a toggle. I don't believe that was ever there before. Um, and I don't think flight mode was, but I could be wrong there. Uh, Multi-window still works and all the other blocking mode and all that sort of stuff are still there. Uh, and as per... Uh, 4.2, two finger swipe down brings that down as well, and one finger swipe is normal notifications. Um, I'll go into settings. Until it sort of looks slightly different. Um, I th I think it looks different. There's, it's the text is a little bit different in here, um, but the normal everything else still seems exactly the same. Um, S Beam NFC. All that sort of stuff is still there as per usual. Home screen mode, blocking applications, all that's the same. Uh, Samsung now have their cloud settings there. You can see um, Samsung's cloud and Dropbox both fall under that. I haven't tried Box.net or any of those apps to see whether they fall under that, that entity now. Uh, lock screen settings. You can see the this this is a bit of a funny setting. This is the settings for the Samsung lock screen widget, not the actual widgets on the lock screen themselves. So, um, accounts as per usual. Uh, this is a new option here, voice command. So if you go into that, you can see here, the answer or reject incoming calls with voice commands. Um, snooze, stop and snooze alarms with voice commands. Take photos control music and the radio. So I've turned that on. You'll see if we go into the camera. I can say cheese. It takes a photo. Or shoot. Shoot. Smile. I take photos now automatically. Um, but that's about the only the only differences so far. Uh, there's been rumblings on Twitter this morning that it's a bit better with uh, memory management. Um, I haven't haven't noticed that or anything like that as yet. Uh, it still seems as per usual. Uh, but with all these extra features, you can see there Android 
This build's actually running on my um, my is a mine is a uh, 9300T, um, which is a Telstra in Australia version, uh, which is why I'm running a funny baseband version here. But um, it now thinks it's a, a 9300. Um, it's all the normal the normal gear. So yeah, that's the 4.2.1 update. Uh, if you've got any questions about it. Uh, leave me a comment and I'll see you later.